Alrighty guys, welcome back for more Pier Molly. Last episode, we got Cooper. Freaking guys, a lot better than Goobario. Anyways, let's go back to the Cooper Fortress. I cannot find Colorado for some reason. And I also apologize if I have sounded a little too loud in the in the uh, previous episodes while the game audio sounded a little quiet. Uh, hopefully that's changed a bit and uh, Jesus Christ, I forgot to set my timer. Let's see if I can do this with one hand on each thing. Eh, eh. Alright, hold on. There we go, we're making progress, we're making progress. Oh yeah, alright, hold on. Let me just look at both things at the same time. And wait, there we go. Alright. Let's see we started about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Alright, ooh, and there's a Koopa. And Cooper is kinda eh with against Koopas because he cannot really stomp on them. Like the previous enemies, but that's okay because he can always do uh this. Yeah, let's do that actually. Bam! Yeah, I prefer that uh, over Gumbara's head bomb because I think uh, hammers and Koopa shells are a lot easier to control than um whatchamacallit, than jumping. You know what I mean, just like that. Because I guess the timing's a little bit off, I don't know. Well, the hammer is easy because you just hold it, and that's also pretty annoying because even with you guard it, it's dumb. Whatever. But now that we're done with most of the story section of uh, the beginning of the game. We're pretty much getting to the combat, and now we're just gonna like head on to uh, the first dungeon, I guess you can say. But it's not really a dungeon, like in Zelda. Zelda, it's like, eh. but uh, yeah. Um, Jesus Christ, this is like the millionth item we got like right now. This is the uh, I think it's called the thunderstorm. No, thunderbolt. My bad. I think. No, I think lightning. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. What it was it? Say? No, it's really loud. You're truly good, bros. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, we gotta do this. Oh my god, it's so hard. I guess this is considered like an RPG for like most beginners. Like if you're really young, I guess you play this game. But uh, oh fuck off. I get hated for the first. Try. This is the first time actually. All right, as you guys can see, these are uh, pair pair of troopas. Um, pretty hard if you have Cooper, unless you have Mario doing that. So for my strategy, I just do that, and I'll have them attacking things with the crown, and then you know. Rinse and repeat. Pretty simple. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, other than that, they pretty much have the same stats as the normal Koopa, so nothing to worry about. At least I hope not. Maybe they're not stronger, I hope. I don't fucking know. Uh, let's do Power Shot, just make this quicker. It's a good thing I increased my FP, because otherwise, eh, that'd be kind of annoying. You know, it'd be pretty swaggy if badge allows something that lets your items go. That allows your FP to, like, decrease, like, the use of. Damn, I can't explain this shit. Like, like a badge that lets your like everything that uses FP make it like, reduced by one. I think there was a badge like that, but I don't really remember. But if that is the case, that's probably like an expensive ass badge. Uh, I think the most expensive one was probably like uh, Quick Change or something like that, which basically allows you like to switch partners really quickly, and then you can like attack at the same turn, which is like really, really good in some situations. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Yeah, and bam. This is why I'm saying that Cooper's a lot better than Par Paragoomba, because, like, what the fuck. But even then, once we get more partners, like, uh, Cooper's gonna become pretty much obsolete. I mean, eh, in some cases. Obviously, you're gonna need it for some puzzle that will come by in later part of the game, but it's not even that bad. Uh, we ran out of FP, so I really want more of it. This game's really nice, because it gives you hearts after fights. And we got Star Piece. It also gives you flowers, so that's pretty cool. Oh, God damn it! Oh my, are you serious? Oh my god, okay. Do what? No. Power block. We're using power block. And I don't even know if I, my buddies can use. Oh wow, it actually affects guys in the air? Wow, that's interesting. Oh damn it, we don't have FP, it's not gonna do shit. One damage, yay! Uh, okay, those are actually kinda hard to attack. Alright, that guy's still on the ground, so that's good. And let's do this. I was actually gonna cut out this fight, but I did wanna show up the power block, so. That's cool. We also get a lot of experience for this, so that's not bad. Or, I'm sorry, this is not experience, this is star points. Yeah. Oh man, but this is a very unique take on most RPGs, because like, you don't really see RPGs like this. Like, this game is like, really different from, from the rest, so that's why I like it. Uh, there's a pipe there, but we don't get that till later, because there's a crack on the wall, so you guys probably imagine how we get that. Uh, let's get this for free. Other games fucking cost money, but not in this game, so that's cool. This game is actually a lot nicer than the sequel, probably, because to spend a lot more money, but then you also get a lot more money. So there's a save block here, now we're at Koopa Fortress, finally! Now we're at 4 minutes-ish. AND IT'S BLACK! OH MY GOD, IT'S BLACK! Oh, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in the world of hurt, Mario's here already! Oh, well, I guess he's a pussy one of the group? Kinda reminds me of, like, the ghost from Pac-Man. You know, like, probably the most cowardly one, I guess, out of the whole Pac-Man squad, probably the orange one, because it doesn't really, it doesn't really target Pac-Man, it just goes, like, random, like, all over the place, while the red one's, like, fucking mad as shit, always goes for him. Oh, uh, so anyways, we see Koopa's Koopa shells, I guess, just laying there. 
And uh, we can't get there unless we fight this guy when I think it's actually required to fight him. So bam. Oh no, but bombs. No, but bombs are actually pretty tough. Alright, you know what? Here's what here's the thing with bombs. If you get them angry, they'll go after you in suicide, which is really sad if you think about it, but I mean what else what else is their purpose in life really? But bombs, honestly. But otherwise you can do that. And I could have guarded that easily, but whatever. Alright, hopefully I don't kill him. Also, if you kill him, I think they might explode. Okay, oh, well, now he's pissed. So let us just do this. And bam. There you go, now he's dead. And they did not hurt Koopa or Cooper because he was in a shell, so... That makes sense. Finally, some actual lodging in this game. Uh, but now we got a key, and that's a fortress key. Let's open the door. Alrighty, so this fortress will not take too long. Probably take about, like, a couple parts, because, I don't know, fortresses do take a while. But let's avoid these bombs, because I don't think they're required, and they got confused. They're like, uh, oh, whatever. Oh, it's green! He's like, yo, what the fuck, bruh? He's like, yo, uh, what, what am I doing? Ha, let's see the great Mario get any farther now. I wonder what he said to him. Green! Eek, Mario! Uh, you don't try any, you'll never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting there. How exciting, see ya! I'm not gonna fight that Kubo, are you crazy? I'm not gonna fight anybody. Not, if I don't have to, I'm not gonna. Alright, and there's also another badge there, which is, oh, well, thanks for telling us how to get that. I actually forgot how to. Thought we had to, like, do a crack on the wall or something. Wait, let me... Wait, how'd you get through? You bastard, how'd you get through? This guy's a hacker. Alright, whatever, we'll get that later then. Let's not fight him. And there's another key there, alright, awesome. Whatever, not my problem. Alright. Uh, there's another door thing here, I think we might have to fight this one. Let's go, Koopa, let's go, bitch! You know, I kind of think about it, I don't think we even have to. Oh, lord. Oh, god. There's too many of these guys, let's do power shell. And bam. No! I think I just got them all pissed! Oh, hell no. Okay. Do I have a freaking... Oh, no. No! <laughs> what can I do? Let's use a sleepy sheep. This will probably do something. If, if I don't do this correctly, I'm dead. I don't even use this item that often either. Oh my god, please put them all to sleep. They're probably too pissed to go to sleep. Aw, oh, fuck! No! <laughs> uh. Oh, my, okay, two damage? I thought they'd do more than that. I thought they'd do like three or four. Okay, guard against that one. And... God, this is really sad, just watching him all kill themselves. Why oh, wasted that item? Alright, you know what I could equip though? Wow, it looks kind of funny when he's asleep. I could equip the, uh... What do you call it? The close call, because... Because remember, the close call allows you to dodge sometimes, whenever... Yeah. Oh, and we got a switch, so it was required. Okay. Let us press it then. <laughs> oh shit, what is going on? Oh my god! Mamma mia! What the fuck is it doing down? Oh no, it's moving down! Alright. Cool, it's cool. Alright, alright. I forgot what happens if you let it go up. I don't I don't remember what it does, but Oh well it's too late. Um let us equip her close call because whatever. Oh it's already equipped. Huh. Interesting. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Alright, there's gotta be something here that's important. I think there's something on the left side. I said let's go on the right side first. I think on the left side is like all fighting, so let's go this way. Alright, what is this? Oh, this is the uh, jail cell, whatever. Yeah, but we can't go here yet. And there's like a pink bomb there, which is adorable. But <laughs> let's keep on going. What does that even mean? Like that they're feminine or something? Like they're female? Pink bombs? Whatever. I guess pink's a manly color too, I don't know. Alright, but now we have to fight a lot of enemies now, and what, that fucking makes sense. That also makes sense. It reminds me of, uh, you guys remember Looney Tunes, like the Roadrunner and shit? <laughs> How they can just like manipulate all physics whatsoever, like... <laughs> Physics, what are those, right? Um, what is- oh crap, I- I thought I- I thought I got that guy to the ground, okay. I guess I did not. Let's just do shell toss, fuck it. And bam! Okay. No! Ugh. Yes, I guarded. Good. I don't know if in this game you can actually press the B button to do like a counter attack. Cause I know you can do that in Paper Mario 2. But I don't think you can in this one, so I'm not gonna try it. And bam. He's dead. Alrighty. Yeah, so there's no point in using Goombario since I already got you guys the stats and you guys already know what like all these stats of these guys are. And it's pretty basic, like like knowing their health, like it's you you pretty much already know it's like pretty much low. Like you already know Koopa has like three, Goombas two. Fuzzies have like three-ish, I think, right? And whatever. I didn't even check it like in the last episode when we fought Fuzzies, like I'm doing a long recording sesh right now. And we have to fight all these guys, right? Oh, yes we do, fuck. Guess I can't really cut it out because this is required and you're supposed to do this during the game. So eh. Okay. Let us jump on you, right? Let's not waste any FP. Let's do that. Alright. Now then, let's do a shell toss and destroy you. This is pretty, like, rinse and repeat. Like, this is not that hard at all. 
All right now he's stuck there and he's gonna go for us. Oh, he missed because we got lucky. Nice. It's pretty funny. All right, let's take care of this guy. And bam, and a bam. Now he should be down on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a shell toss right here. Pretty basic stuff, you know what I mean? I guess some people prefer other RPGs because like it's pretty simple. Like you don't really use that much like special attacks. Like, you know, in other games you use like magic attacks and shit, which is pretty cool. But in this game, nah, it's pretty simple, pretty basic. I mean, occasionally use like your FP for like power shell or the fuck. But I mean, other than that, it's like. It's not that hard. Like, this game is pretty simple, which is pretty nice. You know, pretty nice chill LP to do. But yeah. Alright, now we got the power block, which is nice. Because I did use it earlier. Alright, let's kill this guy. And bam. Alright, now let's take care of this one. And yeah. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut out that fight. Because that was, uh... I mean, you guys get the fucking point. Like, it's not even that hard. I think I waste a lot of time with those fightings, too. Because it's like, eh, whatever. I guess it's to make up with all the story that's happened before. We're already at like, at like 11 minutes ish, so we'll keep on going. I think that was the last fight. Oh, cool! Now we have a little like a uh, little puzzle solving here going on, but it's not that hard. You just jump over the thing and you're good. I think I used to like go run around it, which is also works, but whatever. And then we got the key. Now we're gonna go back. Oh yeah! Don't you just love backtracking video games? I know I do, cause I do it all the time. Okay, that was the thing right there. Let's get back up and open that door that we had earlier. And I think we're supposed to do something after this. So. Try, try to bamboozle us. That's a funny word, but <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. As you can see, yellow is pretty damn fast. He can like do some crazy shit. Alright. There's a block up there. Probably some important shit. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this is perfect, I think. And he's like, oh shit, what was that? Whoa, looks like Mario's here. I guess he already got a signal from the other Koopas that Mario's here, so whatever. What's on the bottom side? I actually don't know what's on this side. Oh, it's a door. Huh. I actually don't know what's here. Let's actually check, because I don't really remember. Oh, this is the exit. This is the save. Alright. We'll do that in a little bit. Uh, let us... Let's go right here, and... Yeah. Not really much else to say. Um, I have been playing a lot of Fire Emblem lately. Like, this week, I just, I've been playing... Like, I just beat Fire Emblem 6, like, and I beat the true ending. And I also, uh... Beat Sacred Stones on hard mode, which is really that different from normal mode. But, I mean, it was still pretty fun to play. Um... And wow, more paper puns going on here. And that was a nice trap, yellow. I actually, did, I actually forgot to check the other door, because whatever. Oh, you asshole. I'm not a loser, you jerk. Wow, what an asshole. Oh, we, and now we're back with these guys. Awesome. Oh, what was that? Where did you fall from? We fell from the sky, bitch. Oh, I wonder what just fell. But aren't you Mario? Man, Mario is the most famous guy in the world. Jeez. I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombat. <laughs> really? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a bomb. -bom. Oh, come on. Like, we're not stupid, man. Alright, so I guess we're supposed to chill out. Whatever, let's talk to these guys. Those stinky Koopa Bros worked us way too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day. <laughs> really? Life should not be all work. What do you guys even work as? Like, exploding shit or something? You guys do demolition or something? That's like killing yourselves. Like, that's suicide. I'm sorry, so we do not be obey tyrants anymore. Those Cooper Bros won't squash the private of a bomb. So I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Come on, guys. There's a crack. There's a quack. A quack? A quack. <laughs> there's a crack on the wall right here. How do you guys not? Uh, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. I just didn't want to talk to these guys. That was a mistake. Let's get this. Yay. All right, let's talk to Bomb Bat again. What should you guys say? What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. At least, to, at least to these guys, those uncouth Cooper Bros. I was just a one of many with bombs working here. But those Cooper Bros, once Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. Wow, that sounds that sounds like abuse right there. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. You exploded? What the fuck? How are you still here? Yeah, that was a mistake. The, the Cooper Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. Good job. And then they locked up the rest of the bombs because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bomb, a bomb, -bomb rebellion. Wow, try to say that three times fast. What do, you, what do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Not as long as Merlin's long ass story that Mario just fell asleep to. Alrighty. Oh, you'll do a favor? Fuck yeah, you'll do me a favor. You can do me. You can do something with, the, with that non-existent mouth you have there. <laughs> oh, how nice! Damn, that's a, that looks like a tooth. It doesn't even look like a heart. Whatever. We'll be good friends for now. I can feel it. Oh, we'll be a super team, Mario. And now we can say fuck off to Koopa because we got Bomb Bad. And I actually like Bomb Bad better than the other partners because I don't know. She's actually pretty cool. She can destroy cracked walls and all that nonsense. And you know what? Her attack, like, to get the first strike is actually pretty damn cool. I forgot to show it off with Cooper, but, like, I didn't really give a shit. So, whatever. 
Oh, gee, I almost forgot. Oh, great. This is what every female fucking party member does when she joins. I haven't told you about what I could do, silly me. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I actually thought she was going to kiss Mario. I was like, yeah, that's what every fucking female partner does. But whatever. See if anything cracked in the wire. I could probably break it. Try this one. Puff, puff, puff. Take cover. Puff, puff. What the fuck? No, I do that for you. There you go. And bam. There you go. Now we're free. Why couldn't they do this without Mario? Why couldn't they do this rebelling like before I even came here? Oh my god, whatever. Oh wow, an escape route. Are these guys not even notice like cracks and shit? We can get out now, right? Oh my god, thanks Mario. Wait, what'd she say? You just ask and I'll be there for you. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know chit chat. Now that's not bestiality because she's not even an animal. This is like <laughs> let's see, sex is like an object. Well, I guess it's a living object. I don't even know. <laughs> What's all that noise? Because you belongs for a guy, exploring a private inside the fortress except in case of emergencies. I never have to fight these guys. Oh boy. What in the Mario? What are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everyone, get him. These guys should be shitting themselves by now. I already killed like half their team, their, their army. Alright, what can Bob Bem do? She can do a bomb and destroy an enemy on the ground. You know what? I, I should have used uh, Cooper because he actually might be a bit more useful for this fight. But that's fine. Let's do this and that. Alright, now I'll use Bombette, do a body slam, and that's... She doesn't explode, but she does a body slam just like that. Which is okay, I guess, but I guess Cooper's ability is a bit better. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's do that. So yeah, Bombette's pretty cool. Uh, in, the, in the second game, you actually get a bomb partner. But you get it, like, pretty close to the end of the game. You get it, like, in Chapter 6, and we get Bombette Chapter 1. Which is crazy that we get, like, three party members in, like, one chapter, so that's, that's insane. Although we did get one in the prologue, so I guess that doesn't really count. Whatever. Ugh. Fuck. Alright, about this one. And bam. Alright, I wonder if Bomb Peck gets affected if she, like, body flames and exploding the bomb. We'll see. She should be, like, immune to that, shouldn't she? Because she's a bomb herself. Whatever, fuck it. I guess Pokemon types don't work like that. Oh, yeah, she gets fucked up a bit. Oh, Jesus. Did she just die? Oh, no. I think I know what happens. Like, if she becomes unusable for a turn, she gets hit, so... Thankfully, that was the end of the the battle. Ooh, all right, nice, cool. All right, what the hell's the timer looking at right now? I haven't even checked. We got about bed, and the time is uh, pretty much it. So now we got about bed. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Where we cover the rest of this dungeon. So yeah.